Hi guys, today I want to go a bit through my lip collection because I think it's slowly getting a bit out of control. I was actually quite having it well under control last year, but then recently I made quite a few lip purchases. Most of them could be probably um, quite a few Pat McGrath ones, but they're all small ones. I don't feel too bad about them, but even their small ones, which are easier to empty, it made me realize I would really need to scale back. So I thought, okay, let me go through my um, whole collection to remind me of things to make sure um, there's nothing bad and just yeah to stop me actually from buying new things by reminding me of what I have so um, let me maybe go through the easy ones easy ones first which would be the new ones from Pat McGrath so I got um, some of um, her mini sets I got the balms which are in the white packaging and then um, some of the matte lipsticks which are in these neon packaging the balms um, I really really like them I have worn them already a couple of times and I try at the moment not to use them too much because I think because they are quite small they will be um, finishing quite quickly they're literally like a deluxe sample size which is quite nice though if you want to try out her formula and you're not sure about it I really can recommend these mini sets and by the way they're cheaper on the Pat McGrath website compared to Selfridges I paid £19 um, for three of them which is not too bad and as you can see um, especially the dark one has really good pigmentation so the, the, there's the clear lip balm which I will not swatch because it's clear um, the blow up and the flush three so I really really like them and they will definitely stay in my collection because they're new same with the matte ones although having now these matte ones um, I really I'm slowly I don't know, I'm slowly getting bored of matte lipsticks. Um, most of them, even Pat McGrath ones, um, they're just a bit drying on the lips and they do transfer most of them, um, except when you have like a really good matte liquid lip. So I, I need to make sure I don't buy any matte ones anymore. But Pat McGrath ones, I do like them and I would definitely keep them. Same with her big lipsticks. I have one Lux Trans lipstick in Beautiful Creature. There we go, quite a dark color for me, so I don't wear it too often. There we go, beautiful. And I also have one matte trans lipstick in softcore. So again, really, really like it. As you can see, I actually use them, um, just not too often. I need to use them a bit more because I don't want them to get bad before I have the chance to use them properly and then hopefully use them up, to be honest. Okay, let's go through other products. I will definitely keep definitely keep the um, Clara House lip oil. I just got this one. Um, oh my gosh, did I got it last year or the year before? Let me actually smell on it. Oh, it smells beautiful. This is the minty one. Absolutely love it. Um, I actually really want to use it. I just didn't start using it yet because I have quite a few smaller lip balms and lip oils which I want to empty up first. One of them is this one here from Clara House. This is the um, honey one. And as you can see, I'm actually nearly finished with that one let me stand it up to settle it a bit so then let me get back to do some Pat McGrath products they are all really fairly recent they're the lip glosses from her I really like them find a bit odd though some of them seem to separate them as you can see here they do smell fine though and they do perform really really nicely on the lips you just need to when you use them I would recommend to just open it up, get it out. By the way, the noise is next to me is um, a little helper <laughs> sitting um, under my desk right now and playing around there. There we go. They're really, really, really nice. Also have the window open, by the way. It's a bit windy outside, but I just needed some fresh air. So excuse the background noises. These lip balms I really, really enjoy. So they will definitely stay in the collection. Then, yeah, let me have a look at, this is for Givenchy. This is in the color Rose Avant-Garde. Um, very light pinky used it a couple of times it's a tricky color though because hey, hello. one second yeah sorry for the noises i can't stop them unfortunately i don't want to really stop them um yeah i used this one a couple of times as you can see it goes down already a bit because when i bought it it was like up here but um yeah it's a it's it's very bright pink even though it's quite sheer so it's one you have to use carefully but it smells still fine so i will leave it in my collection i want to use it up then some more lip balms actually i'll put my lip balms back in the jar i have them like in a little jar lov cosmetics oh my gosh i love this brand um you don't get it really here in the uk it's only in germany most of their products are produced in italy this is quite a dark lip gloss i think lip glosses are much more into fashion though again so i will hold on to that one and they're roughly they still smell good. 
they're roughly two years old, I think. But I need to make sure that they don't get too old, especially lip glosses. Because, yeah, we don't want them to get off. Oh, there's another one from Ellery. This one is um, a less sparkly one. Just like a normal lip gloss. Also still smells good. I will smell on all of my products just to make sure. Did I actually smell on this one? No, I didn't. Let me smell on this one as well. Yeah, it smells also still fine. So I just left them on. I have then I made this tell the color. Opalescent Amenity. Envious Coral. Envious Coral looks a bit used up because I had that one in my handbag for a little bit. And Mystic Sand. Love all of them. Definitely we keep them. I have some similar lip glosses. This one is from Catrice, the Prisma Lip Glaze. By the way, I, I heard somewhere, I think LOV Cosmetic is part of Catrice Cosmetics. Wow, sparkly. Nothing for every day, really, but if I feel like I want to sparkle, I should definitely use this one. This one was from one, from one of the Advent Color, the Beauty Advent Color Studio 10. Don't really know the brand. It's Lip Perfecting Balm Gloss in Bellini. Smells still fine. <laughs> hey, what's up? Sorry for the screams. Um, I need to give him something else to play. So I need to have a little break again. So yeah, the noises will continue. <laughs> so yeah, definitely we'll keep these. Then we have another lip gloss. This one is from Winky Lux in Coffee Glaze. Um, as you can see, I actually used this one. Um, a little bit. Oh yeah, still like this one. And oh, it smells delicious. It smells like cake. I don't really think I was hoping. They smell a bit more like coffee, but they do smell more like cake or something like this. But it smells really nice and I will keep it for now. What else do we have lip gloss wise? Not much. Let me see what else can go in that glass to stand up. This one is from Richards. Um, Miracle Liquid Lipstick in Fresh Coral. That was a face where I really liked coral lipsticks so I will get them and the color is amazing <sighs> hmm this one smells a bit chemically so I think I will definitely keep it for now it doesn't smell completely off yet but it smells like it will go off this year so I will put this in a specific pile for lip products I want to tackle in 2020 not really putting in project pan yet but just like having a pile of lip products I should probably start soon so I will put that here to the side then this one I have for ages as well color 200 this is um, uh, Anna Sui lip rouge pen and this one I have for such a long time it's one you have to twist a bit like a concealer and then the lip color comes out looks a bit patchy to be honest doesn't smell bad though yet sorry for the noise again Oh gosh, I think this video will take ages to do. Um, it doesn't smell bad yet. I do have it for quite a long time. So I think I always kept it because I kind of, I love the packaging, let's face it. And um, I kind of thought, oh, I will empty it, I will empty it. Still didn't empty it. I'll put that also in the 2020 pile of lip products to tackle or declutter if I actually do not use them. Then Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip. Um, I actually finished quite a few of them before. They are quite comfortable to wear compared to liquid lipsticks. It's quite a nice color. I like it. So let me smell. I will hold on to that one, but it is getting old. So I will also put it in the 2020 pile of products to tackle. Then I have two more Pat McGrath actually. These are the lipsticks. They were in like a big set. Some of them I gave away to friends. Um, there are three of them I have. <laughs> what's going on there um, what's the color of this one flush 2 definitely will keep this one they have amazing pigmentation there we go still smells good so that's a keeper there's some unique colors I just kept which I don't really wear very often but I wanted to keep it because they are quite unique this is the blood one such an amazing red look at this definitely keeping that one and then also the Venom one. And another amazing red. Look at this. They are just such good pigmentation. So I will keep them for now. Then this one is from Winky Lux. Oh, this one. This one, I really like the color. There we go. It's the color Lip Velour Babe. It's 
a really, really drying matte lipstick. I do like the color though, and how I wear it usually, um, how it's more comfortable for me, I would put this on as a lip color and then put a gloss on top of it. But I will put it in my 2020 pile of products I should probably use up or not use anymore or declutter. So I'll put it in there because it is just, I like the color, but it is a pain and the formula is not very good. And considering I need to use other products to make it work, um, yeah, I should really consider that one. Then this one I think will also be one. Now this one I might actually sort out. This one is 101 Naked Ambition Pure Color Envy Liquid Matte from Estee Lauder. This was in one of the Christmas holiday sets um, I got just recently, like end of last year. And I don't mind the color of this one too much, but this one is so drying on the lips. I do not like it. So because this one is fairly full and new, I would just ask one of my friends if they want to wear it. You can wear it if you put a lip gloss on, pop, on top or if you just, yeah, if you're happy with wearing liquid lipsticks. But for me, this one is one um, I do not want to keep in my collection. So I will actually sort this one out. If we are already at Estee Lauder, let's go to the other Estee Lauder ones. Definitely I will keep this one. I love this one. Pure Color Envy Lip Volumizer reminds me a lot of the Dior one. There's not much to see because it's actually a clear gloss. Smells super minty, very, very nice. One of these typical lip volumizers and absolutely love it. Didn't tackle it yet because I want to empty some other stuff, but this one absolutely love. Same with the lip balm from Estee Lauder. Used it a few times, um, but not too often yet because I want to empty some other stuff first. Metal packaging, by the way, with a really nice magnetic closure. Um, just normal lip balm, Estee Lauder. Love it. Definitely keeping it. And then this one I quite like as well. This from Estee Lauder is the Impulsive. 210 color it's the normal pure color envy lipstick let's swap it here really variable color very nice pinky nude um love it this one was also from the um this one was like from a really big package you could buy um if you spend like a certain amount on estee lauder really really like this one pure color envy 420 rebellious rose I really like this one. I had another one of that, three of them. Um, I gave one of them away, but I like this color. It's fairly new and I would keep it. Same with this one, Pure Color Envy 130 Intense Nude. Really like this one as well and we'll keep it. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. Very nice. So what else do we have? Any, any other Estee? Oh, here's another Estee Lauder. This one is really nice. It's um, a lip balm, Discreet Nude in 110 is the color. I don't think if it picks up a lot on the camera, but it's just a really nice, fairly sheer lip balm. Just a tiny bit of milky when you put it on your lips. And I don't know if you can see a little bit of sparkle in there, but you can't see it much on the lips. It's really, really nice and yeah, like a good all day color, to be honest. Go to the lip pile there. What else do we have? Oh gosh, this one is also from Anna Sui. I have this one for ages. Anna Sui lipstick. Um, was like Christmas edition years and years ago. I love the design of this one. Look at the stars on it. Absolutely love it. As you can see, I actually used this quite a fair bit. I put it in my project pan before, trying to pan it. But then I go on and off this color. So this will go on my 2020 pile. Still smells good, funnily enough, despite it being so old. Um, so I'll put this in my 2020 pile to try to use it up or declutter it at the end of the year. Let's see. Then, oh, what shall we? Oh, this one. Sugar pill. This one I did not like at all when I wore it. I just got it a few months ago, so last year. And it's... Um, color trifle liquid lip color oh okay this one i will not even swatch this smells absolutely rancid okay that might explain why it was so badly when i wore it last time this is really disappointing to be honest because this lipstick i did not have for a long time maybe half a year so very disappointing but this one has to go in the bin i'm afraid then Kiko Milano. This one is fairly old as well. 800. Doesn't really say what name it is. I remember it's like a goldy balm. Ooh, smells really nice. Smells like vanilla. Where do we swatch it? I don't think you will be able to see much there. Oh yeah, you can actually see it. This will go my 2020 part because it smells still really good, but it is quite old and we should tackle it. Oh, here's another Estee Lauder one. Pure Color NV 410 Dynamic. This one is fairly new as well. I just got it last year. Like the color. Smells good. They have these typical lipstick smell, the Estee Lauder ones. Then this one is another Rituals lipstick. This is in Nude Peach. Oh, there we go. I really like the color. I didn't use this one very often yet. It's more like a summer color. Like it though. And it smells good. So 
this definitely stays in my collection. This one is really new. This is from Ted Baker. They just launched their makeup collection. I actually wore this quite a couple of times when I got the items new. As you can see, it's quite used. Really, really like this one. And brand new, of course. So this will definitely stay. There's the color. It's like a balmy lipstick, satiny balmy. Really, really, really like it. Then I have two by Terry ones. They're the Rouge Expert Click Stick. I do like them, but I also don't. What I find really annoying on them, they have like this click mechanism. So it comes out, but you can't retract them, which is super annoying. And I think this is why I don't use them so often, because it's just annoying packaging. And also, really weird, the lid is really hard to get off. So if you want to quickly put on a lipstick, it's just a bit annoying. But the pigmentation of them is quite nice. The color is very nice, and they do smell very nice. So for now, they will stay in my collection. But I should tackle this one as well. There we go. Oh, by the way, the colors are... What's the color? Number four, rose. And number six, rosy flush. Like both of them. They're just such annoying packaging a bit. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't really fit in my jar anymore. Okay, let's get on. Then we have a berry lipstick. This one I hardly used so far. I really like the color, though. It's number two, 529, English rose such a nice color and smells really nice this one by the way is a bit odd so this is a classic lipstick but a fairly long packaging and you can retract it but this is the most you can retract it so when the lipstick is new it does stick out and then you need to be careful when you put the cap back on but you can push it out like a normal lipstick and then retract it you just can't retract it well fully which is a bit annoying so as you can see in the inside already i scraped every now and then on the lid which is annoying <laughs> Then, uh, I have these Dear Darling soft lip tints. This is like Korean products. They do seem to dry out a little bit. They smell like um, peach and things like this. I got them from yester ages ago. I do like the colors of them. I just don't wear them too often because they do stain your lips. But the colors are amazing. Let me just smell. Oh, they still smell nice. They smell like bubblegum and fruity. Whoopsie. Let me swatch the other one. Oh, that is the peach smelly one. Very nice. And then Tints Dear Darling Lip Hop. Uh, this is number five. Let me swatch this one. This actually smells like nothing. Okay, to be honest, these ones, I really like them, but they do get a bit old. So I will put them in my 2020 pile of products to tackle. Then we have a lip gloss from Hank and Henry. This is the one, Your Mom. This one I had issues first when it arrived because the Dofit applicator was really, seemed to be like really hard and grimy, but then I just washed it out and there was like glue like substance around it. I don't know what it was. And now it works much, much better. Um, didn't use this one very often. It's just a sparkly sheer lipstick. Doesn't smell like anything. Which is good, I guess. Let me put a bit more on my arm and smell there. No, this one doesn't smell gone off yet. But I think this one needs to go in the 2020 pile of products to tackle. I really like the packaging of this one, by the way. <laughs> then, this one. Oh, gosh. This one, by the way, is nearly empty, as you can see. Um, I use this one every now and then. This is kind of, I like it, and kind of, it's really annoying. This is from Jouer. This is like a lip topper in Funfetti. It's only two mil. I really like this one from the look of it, but it's really, really gritty on the lips. So this is something I hate. So I might declutter this one soon. I will not declutter it just yet, um, but I will put it on my 2020 part. You can see I put it every now and then on top of lipsticks, which is why there's a bit of pink on the Dofoot applicator. But it's just a really sparkly, really nice lip topper. It's just so gritty, which is annoying. This one definitely stays. It's just a lip balm. Not that much to see from MS. Wasn't one of the beauty advent calendars. This one will stay as well. This is from Clarins, the Instant Light Natural Lip Perfect. I had two of them. I gave one of them recently away when I had visitors because I don't need two of them. Um, really, really like this one. It's just like a straw on product on a no makeup day. Oh, seems to come out a little bit of the packaging. Oh, well, but really like this one and it's fairly new. It will stay. Then, oh my gosh, we're nearly finished, we're nearly finished. Just these few left. Hope the video will not get too long. LOE lipstick. Um, 
Mora's Blushed Morph. Oh yeah, I like this one. Still smells good, so this will definitely stay. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love this brand. Nice magnetic packaging. Then we have... Well, what next? Like, uh, Claudia Schiffer. Oh, this one. Um, as you can see, I actually used this one quite a fair bit. This is the cream lipstick um, in 420. It doesn't seem to have a name. This was like a collaboration she did with um, Art Deco Cosmetics, which is quite a good brand. Love the color. Um, definitely keep it. Then this one is from YSL. Um, Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. This one um, I use every now and then. So I don't know how much is actually left in that one. But it is getting old. I used it actually just last week. Smells still good, but I have the feeling the smell on this one will turn soon. You know when you feel like it's a bit getting a bit edgy. So this one will go on my 2020 pile of products to tackle or declutter. And same with this one. Um, I know already Kevin Aquan because I used this one roughly two weeks ago, and I thought the smell of that one is slowly getting a bit off. It's not bad yet, so it's not rancid yet, but. It starts to turn a bit. It smells different than when I had it new, which is a bit disappointing as well because this one I don't have that long either, maybe a year. So I will put this in my 2020 pile of products to use up. Then this one is a Kiko Milano lipstick. This one is just in a color I don't use very often, so I might declutter this one actually. Yeah, it's red, a bit similar to one of the Pat McGrath ones but not as pigment. It's a bit different now. Mm. Okay, this will be go my 2020 pile of products to maybe keep or declutter, so I need to try it out a bit more. Then Gola, this one I absolutely like. Love, not like, love. I used it a fair bit, as you can see. This is number six. I think it was some rose name color. This is my go-to lipstick. Um, when I don't know what to take with me and we go and travel somewhere, I just throw this in my handbag because this just suits me really well. Really like it. Happy with that one. Then another one from Kiko Milano. This one is not too old. I got this one just over a year ago, I think. It smells really good. It smells like vanilla. Very nice. And I use this one a bit, as you can see. Really like the color, but it's more like a summer color. More like a peachy rose. Really, really like it and will definitely keep it. It has also this really nice packaging. A bit like the Ted Baker one where you push the button that comes out. And then this one is from Aldi La Cour. This one is not too old. So, really like the smell of it as well. It smells like cake. So this one will stay for now. Um, but, I'm not too sure about the color because I don't wear brownie colors that often. So I will put it in the 2020 pair of things to use. And the last product is a Carmex Sugar Plum. I will keep this one because it's just a lip balm and it should be still good. Can I open it? Oh, just smelled it. Smells amazing and I would definitely keep this one for now. By the way, can you see that dip on the bottom? That pot could have been much, much smaller. But yeah, I will keep this one for now. But I need to tackle it soon. So I will put it in the 2020 part because I have this one for a while if I remember correctly. So I think I should tackle this one soon to just use it up. 2020 part it is. So let me quickly sort everything out and then I'm back. Okay, so there we are. Um, Lip products I really like, which are all still good, some of them fairly new. Good collection of colors. My lip glosses and the two by Terry um, click sticks. I keep the lip glosses upright in a jar. It's just easier because the product will settle and it's easy to use. These ones are all the ones I need to go through 2020 to have a look at them if I still like them. Quite a fair good collection because I hope by the end of this year this will either go or some of them will be empty, which is good. So this will be also then my potential Project Pen ones, which is quite good. And then two I will sort out, one I will give away and one which is definitely funky and gone off. Overall, I'm happy with it. Um, looking at my swatches, I think I have a fairly good collection of any color I could imagine. I know it's not any color that there exists on the market, but at least it's variable colors because I will not go into crazy, crazy makeup. I just literally want makeup I can actually use and wear. Hope the video is not too long. I think it will be like a full feature movie. But that's it for me today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.